hello dear in this video we are going to uh, convert an nfa to dfa using lazy method actually uh, it is similar to the subset construction method uh, we already discussed about how to convert an nfa to dfa using subset construction method and the problem that we face uh, one of the drawback that we face in this uh, subset construction method is the number of possible subsets that can be taken for example uh, we are uh, whatever is the uh, might be the nfa that we consider We'll first step in subset construction method is to find all possible subset of it. For example, when you consider an NFA with three states, you need to construct two power three, eight possible subsets. And uh, similarly, when you are considering an NFA with four states, then you have to check with sixteen possible subsets and find all possible transition of it. And when it goes, it increases in the terms of two power n condition. So uh, the number of subsets. that may occur as the issue in subset construction method so we are going for this lazy method and uh, it is not preferable to use lazy method in your exams okay you can use this for verification anyway the answer will be correct okay so now uh, lazy method is first we have to start the transition with starting state okay one thing like that we want to know is like if it might be either nfa or a dfa it will have a single starting state Okay, you'll have only one starting state for NFA or DFA. You can have any number of final states. Okay, so always we'll have a starting state, a single starting state, and we are going to write the transition that starts from the starting state. Okay, so you have an NFA. This is NFA that uh, accepts all the strings over zero and one, and the input should start with zero one. Okay, zero one concatenated with zero or Uh, more one or one or one or zero, so okay. And um, here Q naught is the starting state, and the input symbol is zero and one. We have to write the transitions for Q naught when the input is zero, Q naught when the input is one. Okay, we have to fill the transition table. Q naught when the input is zero, it goes to Q one, and Q naught when the input is one, you don't have any transition. When there is no transition, make it as null. And now you got a new state Q1. Write the transition for Q1, and you have a state called null. So null need to be considered as a state over here. Okay. So now Q1 when the input is zero, you don't have any transition, so it is null. Q1 when the input is one, it goes to Q2. And for null, make the transition as null for both the sides. Okay. And finally. Uh, you have a new state Q two over here. Write the transition for Q two. Q two when the input is zero or one, it stays in Q two itself. Okay, so now the table is filled for all the state possible thing. Q one you have a transition. Now you have a transition. Q two you have a transition. So this is how we have to fill the table. So once after filling the table, starting state is Q naught and final state is Q two over here. So wherever you have Q two, that will be your final state. Now rename the states. Q naught can take the value as A, B, C, and D. Now you can reform this table. Okay, in terms of the newly uh, created variables, input is zero and one, and states are A, B, C, D. D is your final state. A is the starting state. Okay, and wherever you have Q one, rename it as B. Okay, Q one is B. Null state is C. Null state is C. Q two is D. C C and D D. Okay, so now you got a transition table. Now, when you draw a diagram, you can even draw the transition diagram for it. A is the starting state, and you have B C D. D is the final state. A in the input is zero. It goes to B. When the input is one, it goes to C. B. When the input is zero, it goes to um, C. One, it goes to D. D. When the input is zero or one, it stays in itself. So now you got the DFA. In DFA, for all the states, for all the inputs, A. When the input is zero and one, you have a transition. B. For one and zero, you have the transition. And C. For one and For C also you have to write the transition. C when the input is zero go to C. So this is the final DFA. This is how we construct it. Okay. So this is a much easier example. Let me consider one more example for converting NFA to DFA. 
here as I said we are going to construct the transition table and the inputs are 0 and 1 and uh, the starting state is Q0 you have to start with Q0 Q0 when the input is 0 you have to check the transition over here Q0 when the input is 0 it goes to Q0 and Q1 okay you have two possible transition for the input as 0 and Q0 when the input is 1 it stays in Q0 now you got a new subset over here so for this subset you have to write the transition it is not mandatory that we have to write the transition for all whatever subset you get it over here write the transition for that alone okay so now q0 q1 when the input is 0 q0 when the input is 0 it goes to q0 and q1 q1 when the input is 0 you don't have any transition okay concatenate uh, sorry uh, combine both the things union operation okay now q0 q1 when the input is 1 q0 when the input is 1 it stays in q0 q1 when the input is 1 it goes to q2 okay now you got two different subsets and for this subset we already have a transition already the transition is written over here now you have to check with the state okay so here q0 q2 you have to write the transition so q0 q2 when the input is 0 q0 when the input is 0 it stays in itself and it goes to the state q1 q2 when the input is 0 you don't have any transition that's it now q0 q2 when the input is 1 q0 when the input is 1 it stays in q0 q2 when the input is 1 you don't have any transition okay so now you got two sets over here one subset is q0 q1 the transition is already written over here and next one is q0 q0 transition is also noted down now the next step is to find the final state. The final state of this NFA given is Q2. So wherever you have Q2 in the subset that will act as the final state. And what was the next step? Rename this subset. Whatever we got, rename that subset alone. Okay. So I can redraw this transition table like this. Uh, I have two inputs 0 and 1. And the states are A, B, C. Where A is your starting state, C is your final state. A when the input is 0, it goes to B. And Q0 is A. Q0, Q1 is represented as B. Q0, Q2 is represented as C. Q0, Q1, Q0, Q1 is named as B. And Q0 as A. So this is your D of A. You can draw the transition diagram for it. A is your starting state b and c is your final state so a when the input is 0 it goes to b 0 and for 1 it stays here b when the input is 0 and in the input is 1 and c when the input is 0 it goes to b and c when the input is 1 it goes to a so this is the final d of a okay so this method is called a lazy method. The reason is you are not going to find all possible subsets. Instead, whatever is needed, we find that transition alone. Okay. Thank you.